Hi guys, what's up? Hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. This video is literally going to be an information bomb for a lot of you people. As in this video, I will tell you guys three reasons why BCA, which is Bachelor's of Computer Applications at Christ University, is ranked number one. This is going to be a very very informative video. So guys, make sure you watch this video till the very end. Before I get started, you guys know the drill. If you like my video, please wholeheartedly press the like button because that will really help the YouTube algorithm push out this video to a lot more of people. If you like the content that I put out, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. At the same time, in case if you're new to my channel, my name is Kavaj Khanna and I'm a college mentor who's helped and mentored thousands of students get into their dream college and course whether it's a BBA, BCom, MBA, BCA, law and a lot more of this. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now, before I actually tell you three reasons why BCA at Christ University is ranked number one, I'm pretty sure you all will have a doubt in your head that, hey, Kavach, why the hell are you claiming BCA at Christ University to be number one? Are you some god? Has Christ University paid you some money? What are the real facts that you're talking about? So hold on, guys. Let me explain it. I am not claiming BCA at Christ University to be the number one course in the country. In fact, I myself don't believe in ranking and my whole purpose of having this channel and putting out more than 300 videos across various courses and colleges is to tell you guys to please do not blindly believe in ranking. I myself am a strong believer of the fact that you really need to seek good guidance, find the right fit for you, do your thorough research and then see which course, college, city suits you because at the end of the day, whether it's an undergrad or a postgrad, whether it's a diploma course or a full-fledged degree, it's an important decision. Giving the fact that you will be investing not only your money, but at the same time, some very valuable years and time of your life. So please, please thoroughly do your research and do not blindly believe in ranking. Guys, I am not the one to be claiming BC at Christ University to, to be the number one course. In fact, it's India Today ranking 2022. India Today is a big group that each year comes up with rankings of various colleges across the country for various courses, whether it's engineering, law, BBA, BCom and a lot more. Now, why have I suddenly picked it up and I'm talking about it is for a simple fact that Ever since I joined Christ University, which was back in the year 2015, they used to come up with rankings even then. And from then onwards till today, 2022, BCA has always remained number one, which is a huge thing because see, when I joined Christ University, BBA was number one. However, the rankings kept fluctuating. Sometimes it was number two, sometimes it was number four. I think right now it's number six and you know, likewise. But that one course of Christ University, which has always, always stood rank number one is BCA. That is the reason today in the morning it just struck me that why the hell is Christ University's BCA ranked number one each year? Like is there no competition or what the hell is it? So I did my research of many hours and that is the reason I thought of sharing with you people my opinion on what could potentially be the three strong reasons or why BCA at Christ University is ranked number one. Before I actually tell you guys the reasons, I also want to tell you that yes guys, there are other colleges for BCA as well and you're free to do your open research. There is Symbiosis Institute of Computer Studies and Research in Pune, there's St. Joseph's College in Bengaluru, there's Loyola College in Chennai, there's Christo Jenti College in Bangalore and a lot more of colleges across the country that offer the BCA course. So please guys, you can do your research. If you want to know more more about these colleges and their particular courses, you can even reach out to me for my personal guidance and doubt training session. I'll put down the link of those sessions in the description of this video. Talking about the number one reason, hands down guys, it has to be the course curriculum of BCA at Christ University. I did a thorough research about the same and I found some amazing things that their curriculum offers, which I don't think a lot of other universities offer. First and foremost is that they offer and educate students in variety of programming languages, which I guess is the core and the crux of a BCA course. They would get you exceptional learning in C++, Java, Python, database management systems and a lot more. Another very important thing is that they focus a lot on internships and practical projects. Thirdly is that they really surround students with helping them learn about the emerging tools and technology because I mean technology has always been very disruptive in nature 
and that is where gaining core competency about any of the technology or getting your hands on to them will really help students build up a great career fourth and very important reason which i'm pretty sure not a lot of you people know about is that something that christ university themselves came out very recently which is called bca fast track now for all the people who don't know about bca fast track BCA Fast Track is an option that is given to each of the students pursuing the BCA course that in the last semester which is the 6th semester at Christ University they are allowed to go for a full time job or you may want to call it experiential learning or apprenticeship program or whatever you may want to call it these are paid programs by companies based in Bangalore itself and the stipend could be ranging somewhere from 8000 rupees per month to 58000 rupees per month now naturally not everybody gets the chance to be a part of the BCA Fast Track program you need to meet some eligibility criteria that is in terms of getting good marks in your previous five semesters maintaining a good attendance uh, at Christ University having a good rapport with the faculty members and all of those things but imagine the fact that one whole semester you are getting to do hands on learning that means you don't have to go to college you just have to work on real life projects with real companies get paid for it and naturally uh, your degree is being you know built at the site so after those 6 months you will get your real degree just like everybody else and this i found a very cool thing uh, about the bca program at christ university the second reason is that this course is open to students from all background which is a great thing because that really helps build in diversity in the class and at the same time people from all different backgrounds with different kind of thinking different skill sets different problem solving skill sets are under one roof which surely enhances the education so in terms of eligibility people from all different backgrounds that means whether you are a commerce student you are a science student you are an art student you are a computer student each one of them is eligible to apply for the bca program now it's not compulsory that you need to have computers in your 11th and 12th yes having like an ip or computers would be at a great advantage but even if you don't have they're okay with taking students with that obviously you have to work really hard for your interviews and micro presentations and show the interviewers that you possess some great skills and you know you are really very good fit for the bca course but as long as you are able to do that they are not necessarily concerned whether you have commerce or you are coming from a science background all those things secondly is the admission process So the admission process at Christ is also open to everybody that means you just have to give an entrance test an interview and a micro presentation you don't have to go for any generic exam like you know JEE and all of those and only if you score a good rank is when you'll get selected so it's it's a fair process which is open to everybody and if you work hard for your interviews micro presentations your Christ university entrance test you can make it through Third is that the fees of the BCA program at Christ is not very high. Now I also don't want to say that it's very low because then naturally there are government institutes that offer the same program at a very low cost. But when I'm comparing Christ University with other private institutes, their fees is nominal, which means that you can get your degree or BCA in less than four and a half lakh rupees, which I think is decent. Now naturally it depends on your particular background and the money that you want to invest for your undergrad program. But in case if you're okay with the four and a half lakh rupee for three years. i guess bca would be like a great option at christ the third and the last reason why it is considered number 1 is the bangalore city advantage just at the start of this video i gave you names of other colleges as well there were four colleges and out of those four colleges there were two more in bangalore city as well so bangalore guys being considered the silicon valley of the country and the technological hub and all of those things it offers a lot of advantage to all the educational institutes now there could be multiples of them but majorly is the flexibility to approach great technological leaders and you know invite them for guest lectures and helping students learn from them helping students get internships in their companies and naturally converting those internships to pre-placement offers and naturally helping them get a job even your flexibility to approach startups or in fact even the vc funds there's so many of them like sequoia and all of them they're headquartered in bengaluru itself so that offers a great amount of city exposure and an advantage third is the great exit option post the course now i don't want to say that the only option that you have after the bca course is just apply for a job or work with a startup there are also students who would want to enhance their educational capacities by going for a masters or maybe a phd later on or who would want to work on some real life technology and for that they you know they would want to study further or do some research all of that all those options are available in bangalore and and bangalore itself sounds like a great platform to launch your career from so these are some of the many bangalore city advantages that you can get pursuing a bca course from bangalore and then naturally christ university is benefited from this big advantage 
so yes guys that's about it for this particular video thank you so much for watching this video till the very end now that you've watched this video till the very end please do me a favor by subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell icon if you like the content that i'm putting out please share this video with your friends family members and your relatives i'm pretty sure it would be a big value bomb and would help benefit everybody last but not the least guys please like this video and comment below if you have any doubts question queries i'll see you soon with another video take care guys bye bye